Hello, my name is Professor Ann Zeller and I want to introduce you to the world of primates. Primates are the same order of mammals that we humans belong to and we share many traits with them as well as having some unique ones of our own. As mammals, primates share the traits of being warm-blooded, fur-covered and nursing their young with other mammals. Primates differ from other mammals, such as large ungulates who eat grass with specialized teeth or have special features like long necks to eat leaves. Primates are, in fact, very generalized mammals, retaining all four types of teeth, incisors to bite into food, canines to pierce with, premolars to begin food processing, and molars to crush, grind, or slice, depending on the diet. These generalized teeth go with a generalized diet, Primates can eat a wide variety of things, such as fruit, leaves, bark, seeds, insects, grasses, roots, tubers, tree gum, meat, and vegetables. Another generalized trait is our retention of five digits on the hands and feet. This allows us to do a wide variety of things, such as moving, grasping, climbing, swimming, eating, grooming, and communicating, among other things. Zebras, for example, who have only one functional digit on each foot, are specialized runners, while bats' hands are specialized for flight. The retention of the collarbone or clavicle is a trait which is common in primates, but rare in other quadrupeds. Another retention is the two-bone forearm, which allows us to rotate our palm facing up or our palm facing down. With all these features as an underlying basis, Primates have another set of traits which have developed from our ancestral forms beginning 55 million years ago. Fortunately, we still have forms living in the world today that are like these early ones, so we can trace the development of these trends by looking at primates that are still alive today. These trends include 1. Eyes that move from the side of the head to the front, permitting binocular vision. They also become enclosed in bony eye sockets. Two, the development of color vision and diurnal lifestyle. Three, reduction of the muzzle or snout, which results in a reduced sense of smell. Four, change from wet nose like a dog to a dry nose, which is part of the reduced importance of the sense of smell. Five, transition from claws to nails on ends of digits to protect sensitive tactile nerve endings. Six, development of hands and feet from supportive to grasping hand to opposable thumb and grasping big toe. Seven, development of the hemochorial placenta, which only has one layer, so more oxygen gets through to nourish the fetus, particularly the brain. Eight, enlargement of brain in relation to body size. Nine, reduced number of offspring from a litter of three or four to one every five years. 10, increased lifespan and stages of development coupled with intense long-lasting maternal care. This underlies the development of complex communication stills and development of group-style social life.